New now at 6.30, our News Now investigators step inside eviction court as the number of evictions continue to rise. This after a program that stopped evictions with a pending rental assistance application recently expired. So the legislature gave $100 million to a homeless program, but that doesn't help people before they're actually evicted. 8 News Now investigator Kyle Payne joining us with more here in the studio. Kyle. Today, since the start of COVID, landlords have had a lot of trouble getting rid of tenants who don't pay. But over the last few weeks, that's changed. Did you feel like you got lucky today? Yes, I did. It was 25-year-old Imani Robinson's lucky day. And that there was a default sometime between April and May. Months behind um, in her rent and late to her hearing, Robinson was at the mercy of the Clark County Eviction Court hearing master, Amy Ferreira. So I am going to allow her to come and participate in the proceeding. That proceeding could have spelled the end of that tenancy for Robinson and her two young children. But her landlord agreed to let her stay because she has a rental assistant application pending. But they didn't have to, especially since the COVID rule expired. There is no requirement that a landlord waits on a pending rental assistance application because that particular legislation expired. However, however, Robinson's landlord is willing to wait for that rental assistance to kick in, giving Robinson another chance. Did you think you were going to get thrown out today? Yes, I did. And she wouldn't be alone. Last month, eviction filings in the county went up to over 4,200 from 4,084 in July. And the number of evictions granted also went up to almost 3,200 from 2,954 the prior month. And lately, if you don't pay your rent and you don't have a legal excuse, the court won't listen. Well, the court is certainly sympathetic for those particular life circumstances. I'm just not allowed to base my decision on that. And that means next time, if things don't work out for Omani Robinson and her rental application, she might not be so lucky. I'm nervous because I don't know what my next steps will be. Protection still exists for seniors and those with disabilities, and if you have a valid legal reason for not paying, you're less likely to get evicted. Brian. And Nevada also has a rule that requires the person evicted to file the first legal paperwork to stop it. Now, we're the only state in the country that makes the tenant file first. A bill that would have flipped that process was uh, vetoed by the governor, Governor Lombardo.